This Sunday, you and your dog can take part in a special event to raise money for brain injury prevention in youth. Charlene's 5K dog run honors Charlene Barron, who died earlier this year due to complications from a brain injury she suffered in a bike accident last year. Jan Gunther is the director of this Sunday's event at Baker Park Reserve. Jan, thank you so much for coming in. Hi. You also brought your dog, Pepper, here. I brought my dog, Pepper, and I provided Charlene with one of her dogs, and mm. I have known Charlene for 25 years. She was a good friend of yours. Talk to us about what happened to her. Oh, she, we were training for the Wisconsin Ironman last year, and she had a fall off her bike. Um, we still really don't know the reason why, but um, she hit her head and basically was in a coma and, for seven months and then did die. And she is a large personality in the western suburbs with everything she has done, and we really wanted to do something that was memorable not only to her, but to the surgeon who really worked extremely hard to try to save her life. And you talk about Charlene's big personality, but she was also a big dog lover. She had five dogs. And, and this event really incorporates all of that. We're just bringing her love of dogs um, to the event. And you can walk with your dog, run with your dog, stand there with your dog. Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, anything to do with dogs brings a lot of a smile and humor to um, the group of people that will be there and um, Baker Park has been wonderful to work with and I think it will really honor not only her but just bring a group of people who enjoy the outdoors. Well I think you're going to have a great time out there. People love to bring their dogs out to events. Pepper I'm sure we'll get more energy by them too. Yeah, let's Come on, Pepper. So, Pepper. <laughs> Talk to us a little bit about how this event specifically helps uh, raise money for brain injury prevention in young people. Well, Dr. Samadhi, I believe I'm saying her name right, is an incredibly impressive surgeon that we've gotten to know. She uh, specifically gave us a lot of information about Charlene and her struggles, and we just wanted to know more about this doctor. And she, among much of her research, uh, is working towards preventing concussions in young athletes, um, women and men, and is introducing in the local western suburbs a training regiment to teams that will introduce neck strengthening exercises in order to help reduce the concussions that they might have playing soccer, hockey, or football. And I, that's what I like about it. I figure if we're going to try to raise money, I want to do something that's measurable, that's local, and that can probably affect most any one of us that have kids. And I think uh, to speak on that, a lot of times you have a, an event and you don't exactly know where the money is going. But mm -hmm. with this, you know that the money is going toward the doctor specifically that worked with her and the research that she's doing. Yes, it's and really I've met important. her twice. She's made the effort to come out to our little group that have been putting together this event. And I am totally impressed. What is the legacy that you think Charlene has left? Charlene had time for everybody. She helped deliver my first son. She was an ex-nurse. She had time for every little animal that she would run across. She had a lot of energy and um, towards every type of fun event there was out here. I have done Ironmans with her. I've done mud runs with her. I've cr cross country skied with her. And I just think her enthusiasm and love um, of nature and of people is something that we just, she's too much of a character to let mm -hmm. slip away. Well, Jan, thank you for sharing her story and bringing Pepper in too. Pepper. If anyone is interested, <laughs> Charlene's 5K dog <laughs> run is this Sunday at Baker Park Reserve in Maple Plain. Registration starts at 8 a.m. The 5K starts at 9 and you can register ahead of time. And don't forget to bring your dog. Right? Sounds right, great. Pepper? <laughs> have a blast this weekend, Jan. Thank you. It'll be Sounds a lot like of fun. you're going to have some really good weather for it too, yep. Matt. Yeah.